red lights are about to come on. On comes the first, the second, the third, the fourth, and the fifth red light. And we're about to go racing for the final time this weekend at Castle Coombe. The rear engine Porsche Boxster of Brian Richardson gets a good start, but then the extra grunt of the TVRs tell. And it's Alex Taylor that's going to lead the race with Michael Blake, I think, at the wheel of the Griffith. The, or the white car slotting himself through into second position. Alex Taylor stretching his legs at the front in that uh, monstrous uh, TVR Tuscan Challenge car. And uh, yeah, you're right, it's not uh, Richardson that sat there in second. He's been passed by the other TVR, the Griffith of Michael Blake, has got ahead of the Porsche Boxster. Taylor coming into the pit lane, I indeed I did, and also Michael Seaborn is in at the wheel of the green and the yellow Jaguar XJS. Got no brakes. Got no brakes. None. I lost them straight away. No. I lost them straight away. Ah, yeah. Mate, I don't think she's right. She spells wrong, doesn't she? Is that coming from the front brakes? That is probably because of the relative positions of them behind the safety car at the moment. Now, the safety car has not got the race leader behind it at this stage. Alex Taylor is the fourth of the cars in the train. Um, no, everybody would have to be waved by, that's why. Right, because it's showing that, you'd have to wave everybody by, and then that would mean that they would all be back on the same lap again. So I right, think it's just because okay. of the positioning of the safety car. So when our graphics come up to confirm um, who our race winner is, it might still include Rob Oldman, but the, the actual full results when they're issued uh, should remove him because he wasn't running at the time of the red flag. So um, the cars are being held at pit lane entry, but as we say, we think...